Hey there, professors and philosophers, and welcome now to Wednesday. Not just any old Wednesday, this is a very powerful Wednesday. We have a lunar eclipse tonight, and I say tonight, assuming you're from the United States, but to you worldwide viewers, look it up on Google. I'm not exactly sure where it'll hit every country, but it hits the United States about 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Pacific. And where it hits you, Sagittarius, is in the house of career. Now, if you're new to Soul Garden, I'll explain real quick, Lee. A lunar eclipse, basically, or a full moon, is an opposition. It's two planets that are tug-of-warring on the Earth. A lunar eclipse means that the Earth's shadow will get in front of it. And from a metaphysical perspective, lunar eclipses are a bit more powerful than just a full moon. You might even think of it as a triple full moon or a double full moon. Add on top of that that it will also conjunct Saturn. So it's kind of like Saturn and the moon are pulling on the Earth and the sun is on the other side. My guess is Saturn wins. Saturn always wins. Now the moon and Saturn is actually in your spectrum of consciousness you use for career, the side of your life all about career. Your legacy, how people see you, really what you do probably professionally and mostly it's what you want to be known for, whether you are or not yet. So the universe is ultimately giving a big booster shot of gravity toward your career. And with Saturn there, I can tell you, that already means that your career is currently on an update, which will begin again in May. Saturn is currently in retrograde, so this is a learning lunar eclipse. Now, for the lunar eclipse to win, we have to look at where the sun is. The sun today is one degree Pisces, and it's kind of pulling gravity or force into your ideas of home and foundation. But the sun is just one degree. It's in chapter one of its sun Pisces transit, which means lunar eclipse or not, you would be spending the first 10 days, like you do every year right now, rethinking home, rethinking your foundation, your family, maybe even as far back as your childhood. So what I'm kind of boiling this down to is, in the next 24 hours to a couple days, expect some sort of event to happen or awareness to happen in your career. And as a result, expect a little bit of your concept of home to break down a bit. All right, that's all we have for the day. Good luck with that, and I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be.